Hey, hey, everybody, it's time for Coffee with Steph. I'm just kidding. So I watched the Google Pixel presentation. Just in case you don't know, Google Pixel is Google's new smartphone. And it's got some nice hardware, looks kind of nice, blah, 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 blah. Now, to me, as a developer and a general technologist, uh, Google's Pixel's hardware is not the story. The story is the Google Assistant. So Google Assistant is Google's AI, artificial intelligence, integrated right into the Android operating system. And this thing is pretty incredible in that it's able to read the context in that you are in and able to present to you information and help you along and essentially assist you in whatever it is that you're doing. So if you're having a chat message about going to see movies, it can, it can read that, it can display theaters, it can uh, respond to all kinds of very complex commands. And based on the presentation I saw, I haven't used the phone because it's not out yet. It's pretty impressive and in fact, it makes Siri, Apple Siri, look like an old broken down typewriter in respect to its AI, its ability to assist you, with that capability. And that to me is the story behind Google Pixel. Not so much the hardware because whether it be Apple, Samsung, Google, pick any brand that you want, the, the hardware is all neck and neck now. Some have slightly better cameras, some have slightly better screens, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But this AI that Google is uh, putting out with its new Google Assistant is pretty impressive. Let me tell you, it's pretty impressive. So that is, to me, the big story behind this. Now, in their presentation, Google talked about the different evolutions in technology over the last, whatever, 20 years, 30 years or so. So it talked about, first, the PC, the Advention of the PC in the 80s, the personal computer, then the rise of the internet, the web, then mobile, mobile apps, mobile devices rather, and now they think it's an AI world where AI is really going to have a huge impact in terms of computing. And I think they're right about that because with AI, and we're starting to see the beginnings of that with Siri and this Google Assistant, which takes it to a whole new level, it really transforms uh, your ability to work with your computers. For instance, I have Android on my old Nexus and it doesn't have the Assistant, of course, it doesn't have Google Assistant, it has whatever, I forget what it's called, a precursor to that. And it's very useful. A simple little thing I just noticed. I parked my car, and I walked away from my car and uh, I pull out my phone in the coffee shop and I noticed the phone was telling me where my car was parked relative to me. I didn't have to tell it to, to track where my car was. Or tell me. It just was able to read how fast I was going, I'm guessing. And then when the car stopped, it, it, it must have figured out, well, that's where his car is. And that may seem like a useless little feature, but to be honest with you, I've actually lost my car on occasion. I'm like, where did I park my car? Anyhow, besides the fact that I lose track of my car once in a while, it shows you how AI-based systems can really help out in terms of pr productivity. Remember, all this software, all this information technology, all these computers are there really just to make your life easier, to speed up things, to, uh, well, to make your life easier. So that to me is the true story behind the Google Pixel, is this whole uh, AI this Google Assistant. The hardware looks nice. You have to wait for the reviews. Who knows what people are going to say about it. It looks kind of cool, but I'm very much think it's an AI thing. And if for you young developers out there, if you're looking at the future, you may want to start poking around in terms of AI implementations, see how that might be something you can get involved with. There might be an opportunity there for you. I'm not sure if it's something widely available for all developers, I'm sure this type of technology will come out very soon if it's not already there. But it's just something to look into. And I tend to agree with Google. The AI is almost like the new, it is the new interface, if you will, into computers. All right, we'll talk soon. Ciao.